One of my biggest goals is that I acknowledge my child's greatness. There are enough people in this world who tell us that we aren't enough. We're not good enough, pretty enough, wealthy enough, smart enough, even cool enough. My job as a parent is to be the trusted and consistent force that always reminds them of their greatness, that they are enough and they are amazing. Here are a few lines I use every moment I can possibly think of. A long time ago, I heard that it takes 10 positive reinforcements to override just one negative. I want to make sure my child knows how much I honor their unique, valuable gifts to this world. I'm here to remind them of their greatness, always. I knew you could do that. I so believe in you. I am so proud of you. That was such a good choice. You're the best decision maker ever. You are such a love bug to everybody. You are such a good friend to everybody. You're so kind and thoughtful always. That's just like you. I knew you were like that. That just reminds me how special you are. Mm -hmm. You are always surprising me. You're so smart. Just when I think you don't know, you actually do know. You are amazing. Another one of my goals is to communicate how I'm feeling, what I want, and what works for me. I'm clear on my communication, which translates into respect for both of us. Pay attention to how you feel as you listen to the following contrasting statements. Don't do that. Why? I'm not comfortable with that. I said stop it. Why? That doesn't work for me. I said don't talk to me that way. I don't deserve this. I'm your mother. You don't treat me that way. I don't appreciate that. You're really making me mad. I'm not feeling good about this at all. You're being rude and disrespectful. I'm sorry you feel that way. Don't you dare use that tone with me. Excuse me? You need to calm down right now. I can't hear you right now. Come back to me when you're ready. That's it. I've had it. That's enough. I'm done. I am really angry right now. I need to take some time for myself. I'm going in my room. I'm going to shut the door and I'm going to take some time to get in a better space. I will come out when I'm ready. Do you understand me? I use the power of choice and modeling to inspire the behavior I want. I know that criticism, shame, guilt, and demands just aggravates the situation for all involved. Instead, I keep it lighthearted and breezy because ultimately, I'm gonna get what I want when I come from a space of love versus anger. Notice how you feel when you listen to the following contrasting statements. You don't have a choice. Do what you're told now. Yeah, boss of me. You have a choice. I need you to make a decision. Would you please just pick one? No. It's your choice. You better stop it or you're gonna get in trouble. So? If it was me, I wouldn't throw sticks at my friends. You better knock it off. If you do it again, you're gonna go inside. Whatever. When you yell at me, that tells me that you don't wanna play anymore. Let's go. You should get down from there. I'm okay. One time when I was on a wall this high, I asked for help to get down. Jay, don't climb on the wall like that. Jameson, where can you climb? On the rock climber. Then let's go.